Hello Lolo, today I will be showing you the Phonics SPJ1000A speakers, that they're, they're powered speakers from a company called Phonics. Now I couldn't find any reviews, any data, anything at all online about these speakers before I bought them so I decided to do a video on it. Now these ones came from a store called DJ City. They are branded as Vonix now, but I believe they're, are, they're under the same company called Skytech, which also makes these Vonix, Vexus, and I believe Fenton is another company that is, I mean, I mean a brand that is all under Skytech. Now they have come a long way. The older Skytech budget speakers were just, just, just garbage, just garbage. To be honest, I did use them before in, in, in the beginning, long time ago when I was starting to DJ and all that. But these are much, much better. They are nice, transparent sounding speakers. They're not the best, but hey, they'll get the job done. And for hundred and sixty nine dollars, they're, they're they're a bargain. Now these are designed to look a lot like the. JBL Eon 510s. You see the vents on the side, the little place where they put the logo. There you go. Now, as I've said, Fenton is another brand that's under Skytech at the moment. Now, I did own these speakers before, a long, long, long time ago. They are loud, they're very, very loud, but they're not as defined as these newer ones. They call it the high-end active speakers, although they're not bi-amped. So these have a single amplifier inside them, driving both the 10-inch woofer and the little tweeter up on the top. Now, these ones, they come in a 10-inch model, an 8-inch model, a 12, and a 15. And the 10-inch one that I have over here pushes out about... 200 watts RMS, 400 watts max with 119 dB. So a pair of these with double the sound level will give me about 129 dB in total volume. I mean, total sound pressure level. They're very lightweight, weighing around eight kilos. And the build quality is very good. It's made out of plastic, but not any cheap plastic. They're actually fairly good. What we have here at the back in inputs and output is a mic in. I have not tried that mic. I don't know how the sound quality or the gain is on that mic. I'm not sure about the noise level and all that. I don't use the mic with these ones. Even if I did, my mic usually goes through a sub mixer, then into the PA. At the line for line inputs, we have RCA and an XLR. Now the RCA with the left and right, even if you put that in, it sums it up as a mono. And with the XLR, it's definitely in mono, it's just a one channel. And when you take a line out from one of these signals, there's no way of telling if you're getting the left or the right. In my experience so far, I believe it sums it up and sends it out as a mono. Now this output will not work while the speaker is powered down. So the speaker must be powered on at all time in order to get a true signal from here that you're getting into here. At the back, you've got your line level input, a line level volume, treble, and bass. Now this speaker is not very bassy. We'll give you a small sound demo of how the speaker sounds, but it is quite punchy. At the bottom, you've got a power LED and a clip indicator. And there's a little nice notch in the middle when it tells you if you're at the middle, there's no reduction or no gain in the bass or the treble. There's a little notch in the middle. Really like that. Now the speaker's got a handle on either sides of them. Another handle up at the top. And at the bottom, you've got the little mount for the stand. The tripod stands. And this is something I love about these. You can put them on the side, straight like that, to be used on a desk or whatever. And you can also tilt them to be used as a foldback monitor. And, and, and they work fairly good as a monitor. 
out of the box, there is a blue LED illuminating and showing you where the, when the speaker is powered on. Now, to be honest, it, that that blue LED is really bright, a blinding bright, bright almost. And with a nice black grill, contrasting a bright blue LED does not look very nice to me. I've just plugged it out, to be honest. We will have a look inside the speaker shortly to see what kind of amplifier and what kind of padding it is using to give you a decent sound. Now, to be honest, it is not the loudest, but whatever sound it gives you, it gives you a quite nice, not mid-scooped sound profile that you would get from a lot of other PAs. It is not as loud as the JBL Eons that is trying to look like, but sound-wise, they sound quite decent for $170, that there's nothing to complain, to be honest. Now at the back, I'm running a couple of RCA inputs to get the signal into the speaker. Now, there's a power LED and a clip. So the clip light comes on way, way earlier if you crank the bass up quite a bit. Now, in my experience, the bass sounds fairly well. It's, it's punchy. There's not a boominess in it. It will not fill the room, to be honest. It will not fill the room with just the speaker on its own. But the speaker and the bass it gives out is quite punchy. It does sound fairly well, but to be honest, in my experience, a pair of these coupled with a 15-inch sub sounds way better, sounds clean, and it fills the room very, very, very well. Now, let's get a sound demo of these speakers. See how they sound like. I'm running just Tidal from my iPad, going into <clears throat> a small sub mixer straight out to the speaker and I'm running one speaker at the moment Keep in mind that I'm running the speakers sitting on the floor at the moment. As soon as you put them on a tripod stand, the bass will go down a bit. What we're going to try to see now is what sort of frequency response we get out of the speaker. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to take just the grill out to have a look at the woofer. What actually happens is when I try to take the screws out and get the grill out, the entire frame where the speakers are mounted comes out with it. We're going to start playing at 93 hertz. Now keep in mind that these speakers are rated to go down up to 55 hertz, if I remember correctly from the website. Um, yeah, let's try and see how that sounds.
six hertz on this particular unit you start to hear some resonant frequency on the grill now don't get me wrong it is very well built very very well built you can barely hear a little bit of resonant frequency Forty hertz. Thirty hertz. Now most mobile DJ subs will take you down after thirty hertz. Most good quality ones around fifteen, eighteen inch, thousand, two thousand watts will go up to thirty hertz. But that it will be much, much, much louder than what this speaker can reproduce. All right, so now let's have a look inside the speaker. Um, one thing to keep in mind that this one was purchased about eight months before I purchased that one. Now I'm not gonna touch it because as soon as I bought it, the power led didn't work out of the box. Also the clipping light does not work. And this one I literally got just like a month ago or something. So this one is probably gonna have to go back for warranty repairs and whatnot. So I am not going to touch it. This one, however, I can. Let's have a look inside. There's a massive hint sink at the back. Well, it's not massive, but hey. There you can see it's, it, it's not the best amp, but hey, gets the job done. You've got a little paper cap. Not the best quality of the stuff, but hey, gets the job done. We've got tiny, tiny, tiny caps on the board there. There's another board connected to all the knobs and everything. Now, if I could just place it on the top. This little thingy gets plugged in over here. And that's the blue power LED at the front that I told you about. And I have disconnected it. This just looks ugly. Now, this one on the inside. We get a flashlight in here. It's got some padding on the inside to slow down the air. That would give you a better bass response. Not the biggest magnet on the speakers I've ever seen, but hey, 170 bucks. Sounds pretty good, can't complain. And there's the dome tweeter. There's nothing else inside, to be honest. Nothing else of interest. No dead bugs. Got a little sound foams on the other side too. Nothing at the bottom. There we are. That's the job. That's the job very well. For small house parties, for small gigs and whatnot. Um, again, works really, really well if you've got a nice sub to go with it. Other than that, it does the job. 160 bucks, more than happy with it.